We were disappointed. I know the scoreline, you know, read 15-11. We, we possibly should have, you know, been better. They get a result there to said, you know, maybe if, you know, one or two kicks, even one kick goes over the post there, that we certainly put ourselves in a position at the back end of the game to get a result. And as I said, it's very difficult to be playing at your best every single week. But, you know, we felt if we were maybe 5 to 10% better than what we were on, on Saturday evening, that we would have been left there with four points. Unfortunately, we had two or three penalties down there. They had a seven-man scrum, and unfortunately, we were chasing a five-pointer. We could have easily been chasing a three-pointer, won the game and moved on, but we weren't. So that's certainly been a driving force, and unfortunately this year, we've, we've always had that loss going into the, our Heineken Cup campaign before round one and two, round three and four, five and six, and even the quarterfinals. So we hope that that uh, trend occurs and we're able to put in a good performance. It was poor, poor performance. Um, you know, we we didn't we didn't show up. They looked like the hunger hungrier team, and uh, they looked like they were playing for a lot more. I think um, uh, um, I think it's it, it's it's a situation now where it's going to focus our minds because we can't afford to to play like that or, and make the mistakes we did. I think we're um, you know I think everyone's focused on the job this week and getting things right and, and um, going out to San Sebastian and, and, and playing our best. I think. Uh, you know, a lot of us are very ashamed of the way we played, and that's that's um, you know that's that's being honest about it. I don't think any of us showed up on, on Saturday, and we let we let ourselves down. And, and you know, I suppose like like things like that that do happen to you, they, they help you focus um, on on what's coming next. You know, just it just didn't click for us, and um, you know maybe later on in the game, guys started thinking about next week or something, but. You know that's just not right. It's not the way we, we operate, and, and I think a lot of guys were very very disappointed and ashamed of of of, of the way we played. Not taken from the Aspers, I think they they played well and they, they um, you know they deserved their win. But you know for us to play like that at home was hugely disappointing. And uh, as I said, it, it's something that will focus our minds. You know sometimes people say if we if we had thrown out a huge performance against Aspers and and won and, and caused the through it, um, you might be going into the, into the game the following week, thinking everything's rosy. So, um, you know, as I said, it, it is it is a way of focus in the mind for, for for Sunday. You know, well, the top 14, I think this year has been extremely competitive, hasn't it? I think you've seen two sides with racing and Toulon come up that have that have come up from uh, Div One to come up and actually take take places uh, in inside the top six there. So they've had a bit of a changing the guard there, and it's a long, long season over there, as we well know. So. Look, they, they haven't been that far out. I think there won't maybe a game out of it to, to fall short. But you know, obviously all their energies are in, inside the Heineken Cup now. I think that's been well stated. They've always been on the cusp of that sixth position in the top 14. So I think really once they got through their pool and they got the, the, the one-point win over Ospreys, I think their energies are there. And you know, they, they've got a great affinity with the Heineken Cup as, as well. And certainly there's been some great games with Munster over the past. So you know, we're, we're expecting nothing but their best. They've played very well down there. I think their record down there has been very good so you know, we're looking for again you know a top class semi-final there on Sunday. We've looked at every part of their their game and looked at you know obviously individuals looked at mismatches that we can come up against and you know especially from a set piece through the back lines to individuals you know whether we think there's a number of opportunities for us to to take advantage of. Well we've played there before um, back in 2004 I think so um, a lot of guys will be well used to it um, it's a soccer pitch so we played on a few before as well, but um, depending on the weather, I mean, it's 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 destined to be pretty hot out there as well. So the ground probably be hard, and uh, I think there's a soccer match on the night before, so um, you know they'll probably keep the, the, the pitch pretty hard for that, and it'll be hard for us. So um, but, um, a lot of guys are used to maybe the fast track as well, and uh, I think some some a lot of guys are looking forward to it. Um, we've we've played in some terrible pitches this season, so it'll be a nice change for us. I think you know you know they're always huge games. Um, you know any game you play for Munster, it's it's, it's uh, pretty nerve wracking, but semi final is pretty big, and um, I think there's a lot at stake, and we're, everyone's looking forward to it. You know it's a great it's a great occasion, um, great great team to be playing against, and a great great venue to play in. So um, I think we're all looking forward to it. The biggest thing for us is just the patience of how we we play the game. Really, Brits of are well noted for their game of really starting and looking at three point whether they're field goals or penalty goals early on, get some sort of lead and try and uh, manufacture a try, um, you know, through their forwards and then it's really a hang on till the end and 
and grind sides down. So it's really important for us to start well, make sure we have good ball control and make sure that we use our fitness and our work rate to make sure that we outwork their forwards, which we think you know, that will be a big area for us to make sure we take them on. We've been there, we, we know what it's like. We've, we've experienced the exact same stadium, the, the same team, um, same sort of atmosphere. So that can't be an excuse now, and I think, uh, I think a lot of guys realise that. You know, There is a fear there. I think that's the important thing. There is a fear, and I think that's probably what stri- drives us, is, is that fear, because it's the fear of... of of letting yourself down, the fear of being beaten, um, the fear of, of, of letting a French team r- run away in the first in the first twenty or half an hour and, and having to chase the game, and, and it could end up um, a ridiculous game. But I think that that you do need that fear there. But um, I know what you're saying as regards from us going out there. Um, you know, we know we can win out there. We've we've done it before. Um, but you definitely do need that fear there, I think, to drive you, and um, I think I think we have that for Sunday. You know? We certainly have a great admiration for our supporters, the way they travel and put everything in, into following their team, and it means such a great deal. You know, even the Treviso game away this year, there was a tremendous support there for us, and it certainly, you know, spurred the players on to to make sure that they gave a performance and. Obviously, the Perpignan game in round four was was brilliant. You know, there was a huge contingent of Munster fans there, and this weekend will be very important. They play a, a very important role, even you know, driving the bus through the streets as you get to the game. The the, the lulls in play and seeing the red, you know, when you're tired and despondent. I suppose there's times that you might take shortcuts as an individual, but when you see that support. There are certainly spurs you on to make sure that you're not playing only for yourself, that you're playing for a group of people and you're playing for a collection of Munster, of what Munster stands for. And that's certainly very important. The supporters are, and ourselves have always been very close. I think um, you know, we travel together and more or less socialise together. And you know, it's, it, We're in a small province, you know, where everyone meets each other. But um, I think even more so in the current climate for... For people to fork out the money, and I know that my own parents and, and my uh, parents-in-law are travelling out there, and um, you know it isn't cheap to get out there. Um, you know, everyone tries to fly our supporters from left, right, and centre. We had flights and and uh, hotels, you know, and I think they do get a raw deal. And um, you know, that's that's the, the hard thing about it when you see people forking out money like that. Probably a lot of people forking out money that they probably don't even have, and uh, to to get there and support us. So. Um, without a doubt, that's a, a huge driving force and for, for us, and, and it, it's not lost on any of the lads. I think everyone realises that it's, it's, um, it's a huge sacrifice that they make, and, and um, we're very proud to be part of, of a bunch of people like that, you know. Red FM.